guys. Welcome back to John's Firearms 705. Working on yet another winter project. What we have today is the mag wedge tack pickany rail to go on the SKS. Um, first of all, I apologize to all you purists when I show you the project firearm. This is a mint condition 1952 Tula. SKS. I mean, this thing is like, look at the crowning on that. It is crisp and sweet. Um, to my knowledge, this particular firearm has a, a no more than 400 rounds through it. Uh, yes, of corrosive ammo, but it's been thoroughly cleaned, thoroughly detailed. And uh, yeah, I just thought, you know what, this would be the perfect uh, rifle to turn into a an, accur an accurate uh, semi-long range shooter being that the barrel in it is basically pristine. Uh, of course, you won't be able to use stripper clips with the, this particular mag wedge rail that I got, but that's okay, I have no problem. In Canada, we're limited to five rounds anyway, so I mean, if you're hunting or just doing some uh, you know, medium range uh, target shooting, you, you don't need to be mag dumping. You know, If you wanna go mag dumping with corrosive ammo, you probably got a little bit more of an old uh, beat up SKS laying around somewhere and you can use that one just to mag dump. But anyway, so that's why uh, I'm using this as the uh, project firearm for this. So I'm going to cut the video and I'll bring you over to my workbench and we will uh, get on installing. Before we do that, I'll just open up this package and uh, see what it comes with. There's already a bunch of staples around here. I took those out just to save some time. Uh, we got a little package in here. Comes with a couple of Allen keys for the uh, black bolt and the nut that goes on the end. You got your quick release uh, stainless steel bolt there. And uh, you also got a little piece of fabric with some sticky tape that you can put on the underside of the rail where the uh, shell deflector is right here. Just help, help protect it a little bit. And of course it's nice, you know, it's a see-through rail so you can still use your uh, factory iron sights. Uh, to my understanding though, we will have to adjust the front one. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, again, like I say, I wanted to, uh, to get this into a more accurate firearm uh, that you can rely on. And uh, because it is such a nice uh, firearm that I am beginning with, uh, you know, I want to treat it with the respect that it deserves. And uh, when it came to mounting a rail on here, uh, I don't see any other option other than the mag wedge. I know uh, Kodiak has one that has good reviews, but the dust cover uh, rails, you see some people get the dust cover and it's got the rail on here, which I mean, hey, if that works for you, all, all the more power to you. However, your, uh, your dust jacket, dust cover here, whatever, it does go out of battery when the firearm is cycling. So I, I didn't want to go with that. Then you have other ones that uh, just go in the rear side here. You pop that out and they just stick in here. It's a little wee pick rail. Um, I suppose if you're running a red dot, it would work. You wouldn't have to worry too much about uh, shells coming out. But anyway, so I decided to go with the uh, the mag wedge. Like I say, it just uh, you can't really find a bad review about this online. That's a great product. Uh, so I sit here and uh, we'll put it on. Okay, let's uh, go down to the bench and we'll uh, take off. Are we taking off here? We gotta take off the rear sight. So I'll do that hopefully all in one take at the same time. We have the rear dust cover pin that has to come out. Uh, inside of that, on the, there's a little nub that has to come out. That could be the tricky part. Uh, most people I've seen uh, grind it off with the Dremel. I heard one guy talk about using a hacksaw. I'm gonna see if I can't just pull it out. Some people have had luck with heat and some penetrating oil. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's head down to the bench and uh, see how quick we can get all this stuff disassembled and bring it back up here to put the uh, rail on. Hey guys, welcome back to my bench, otherwise known as all the floor. So I've already gone and uh, drop our magazine. Get our handle set up there. We're gonna pull out our pin on the dust cover. This guy out of the way. Get this whole assembly out of the way. Okay, so what do we want to do first? Let's see. 
I don't know. Sorry about the lighting here, guys. I don't know if you can see it. That is really poor lighting. I am so sorry. There's a little nub right here. It's a little bit numb. We gotta get that out. So that the pin can come out. So let's see what we can do here. I'll try it first with some pliers. Let's see what happens. That's yeah, not, uh, they keep falling off, so one in doubt. Now, like I say, a lot of people I've seen have uh, gone and taken theirs off with Dremels and stuff, and I just, uh, I'd like to not ruin it if possible. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, got a good hold on it. Let's see. Nope, I don't have a good hold on it. Let's try that again. Well, look at that. Came out. Okay, we'll stick that aside. Salvaged it. Pen should come out. Okay. So there we go. Put that aside. That was actually, I thought was going to be the hard part. So now, we got to take our rear sight out. Now, there's plenty of videos on here. Basically, the bottom of the sight in front of the block here, you're going to want to push in with something. And this whole piece needs to come down and backwards. Because there's little, uh, I don't know if you can see it here. No, oh, this thing's covering it, of course. Anyway, there's little shoulders on the side here. They gotta go down and channel them backwards. However, there's a little hole here. Now take a look. I had uh, another one that had a little pin in there that I was able to push out. I've done another one before where I could not push out the pin and I had to grind it with the Dremel to get the side out. Uh, this one does not have the pin, so we should be able to pop this side out pretty quick. There, got ourselves a punch and a hammer. See, I usually just ride down till you hear it get on the end of the line there. See, right there, I'm holding at not quite a 45, a little bit, a little bit higher than a 45, and you're going to want to give it a decent top down, and it should go down and back. Okay, there we go. Now, depending on what you have downrange, you might want to put a little rag over here to catch it. I wasn't too worried about it. There's our sight. Put that away. This guy is uh, pretty much prepped to receive our mag wedge tack rail. So we'll pack up here from our quote unquote bench. We'll go up to the table and we'll install that rail. Okay guys, welcome back to the top of the workbench. Let's get to installing this rail. So we're just going to put the front of the rail into that rear sight that we removed and uh, just for the sake of argument I'm going to put the pin through the back here just to help hold everything square in place for us all right let's see if we can line up that front hole and get this roll pin in place okay, it's right there Pin is uh, and then a little bit of convincing. Almost there. Just double 
check and that thing centered up in there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. So I'll go and take this pin out of the back. There we go, pivot it's up easily out of the way for cleaning. Feels a little bit loose in there. I was actually expecting it to be a lot tighter, but uh, there is a lot of variances on your sights for different SKSs. So for now, we'll let that slide. So let's go ahead and uh, reassemble all this. I came with the two pins. It came with this two-part black one. It also comes with what they call a quick release. I'm gonna go with the quick release. Put this all cinched up together. Get this started in there. Okay, let's turn it to the side. I know it's gonna need some convincing. clear yeah so there we go the mag wedge rail installed on your sks i don't know it feels uh i don't know it feels like there's a bit of play in there oh hold it <laughs> there's no play in there i was holding my bayonet i was hearing some rattling it was my bayonet yeah, no, this rail, rail solid. It ain't going anywhere. Well, there you go. I have to get an optics for it now. Probably get a decent scope, something that can handle the recoil. Uh, I'm not too sure about a bipod. Thinking about maybe losing the bayonet and the cleaning rod. Um, I'd like to keep the wood stock. I don't really want to go uh, with one of the polymers, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so there we go. There's the mag wedge. I'm happy so far at the purchase. Uh, it seems pretty solid on there. It's probably the best thing going for an optics on the SKS. All right, guys, thanks. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Be safe, have fun, and always, always, we'll see you at the range.